There's a reason why Brando recommends this as a starting point. Because it's awesome! Hi Internet, I'm Steve, and this is Raffo. You want to get into Brandon Sanderson, but the only thing you've heard about him is he writes faster than you can read, and most of his books can and have been used effectively as doorstops or bludgeoning devices. Yeah! Have I got the book for you! Meet The Emperor's Soul, winner of the 2013 Hugo Award for Best Novella, so it's good. It's about a woman who is imprisoned and forced to use her magical talent to recreate the soul of the Empire's ruler. At less than 180 pages, you might be able to read this in a day. Great way to spend an afternoon. But being so short doesn't mean it skimps on story or significance. Even if you're not a fan of epic fantasy, this book is for you. I had my brother, who may have not read a fantasy book in 20 years, he's more of a history or nonfiction kind of guy, read Emperor's Soul, and he said he couldn't put it down. The story is gripping and fast-paced right from the first page. The characters are intriguing and feel very real and understandable. And the magic system... Oh, the magic system! Originally inspired by a trip to a museum in Taiwan, the main character, Shai, has the ability to rewrite the history of objects using specially carved stamps, making a chair or table believe it had been cared for rather than abandoned, uh, a piece of clay thrown by a master potter instead of an apprentice, or an article written by Esquire instead of Wired. It's not just a hand wave and a wish that will get you what you want. You have to know the intricacies of how it works. Basically, if computer programmers could do magic, who says they can't? This is that. Nested statements, if-then qualifications, status checks, definitions, and numerical relationships, etc. I'm not sure if you can comment something out with a soul stamp or Aeon Door, but it wouldn't surprise me. This also has one of the best explanations of realmatic theory. Basically, E equals MC squared plus magic, the underlying system for the entire Cosmere, told in a very understandable and relatable way. The entire book is deeply philosophical, asking questions about the nature of art and creation, the value of individuals, and the profound impact small decisions can have on your life and the lives of others. Speaking of, thank you to my supporters on Patreon, specifically Doug and Matt, and Steve, for making small decisions that have profoundly impacted my life. I really appreciate all of your support. The Emperor's Soul is absolutely one of my favorite books by Brandon Sanderson, a category which admittedly includes a significant percentage of all of his work. I've seen a lot of booktubers do tier lists, and it's solidly S tier for me. Should I do a tier list of the Cosmere? Let me know in the comments. Probably have to wait until the year of Sanderson is over, what with all the content I already have planned. Next Friday, we'll be diving into everything we know about Secret Project 3, which I cannot wait to read and find out. To recreate the soul of the Empire... Emperor's Cabbage Patch.